In chaos theory, the butterfly effect is the sensitive dependence on initial conditions, in which a small change in one state of a deterministic nonlinear system, can result in large differences in a later state. The name, coined by Edward Lorentz for the effect, which had been known long before, is derived from the metaphorical example of the details of a tornado, exact time of formation, exact path taken, being influenced by minor perturbations, such as the flapping of the wings of a distant butterfly several weeks earlier. A very small change in initial conditions, had created a significantly different outcome. Sometimes, a small, seemingly meaningless decision can change everything. Some of the biggest moments, in the last century hinged on minor decisions. In 1919, Woodrow Wilson was in Versailles attending the Paris Peace Conference, when he got a letter from a young socialist asking to meet him. Wilson had a busy schedule, he ignored him, and set in motion a chain of events that led to the Vietnam War. The young man, was Ho Chi Minh, and at the time, he was still quite open to different ideas. All he wanted was independence for Vietnam. He had been inspired by the American Declaration of Independence, and hoped the American president would sympathize with Vietnam's plight, and help them win independence from France. Wilson, though, ignored him, and Ho Chi Minh started to get disillusioned with America. He went to the Soviet Union instead, where he studied Marxism, met with Trotsky and Stalin, and became a dyed-in-the-wool communist. When Vietnam won independence from France, Ho Chi Minh led the communist group that split Vietnam in half. The Vietnam War began, but it might never have happened if Woodrow Wilson had just given a young man the time of day. The death of Franz Ferdinand sparked the First World War. It is one of the biggest butterfly effects in human history, and it would never have happened, if his driver had just checked the map. Ferdinand was already having a bad day. Everyone he saw in Sarajevo kept trying to kill him, and he was starting feeling a little unwanted. A bomb had gone off a little earlier, in an attempt on his life, and while he had gotten out okay, some of his entourage were in the hospital. He probably should have taken that as a sign, that it was time to go home. But Ferdinand, instead, insisted on visiting his wounded friends. His driver, though, unfamiliar with the route, took a wrong turn and ended up rolling the car right by where one of the men, who had been trying to kill him, Gavrilo Princip, was sitting outside a cafe. Princip, blindsided by his own luck, had to stagger to his feet, and rush through a mob to get his shot in. He managed to do it just in time, and let out the shot that was heard around the world. In 1933, a Texas councilman named Charles Hazard, was getting fed up with his neighbor's dog. The little mutt kept peeing on his flower bed. Hazard resolved to take care of it. He mixed up shreds of glass into the dog's food bowl killing the dog and in the process, completely changed the history of the world. That dog belonged to a 13-year-old, Charlie Wilson, and he vowed revenge. Hazard was up for re-election, so Wilson went door-to-door -door telling people what he had done to his dog and offered to drive them to the polls. He swayed 95 voters against Hazard, who ended up losing by 16 votes. For the first time in his life, Charlie Wilson changed politics. That moment inspired Wilson to become a politician. He grew up to be a congressional representative, and when the Soviet-Afghan war broke out, he changed history. He campaigned to get American help for the Afghans, putting Stinger rocket launchers in their hands, turning the tide of the war. Because of Wilson, the Afghan Mujahideen won the war. The USSR lost, one of the leading causes of the fall of the Soviet Union. The 
Taliban and Al-Qaeda were formed, and Osama bin Laden was able to launch the biggest terrorist attack in history. The modern era of terrorism began. And all because one cranky councilman poisoned a kid's dog. When thousands of people flooded through the checkpoints on the Berlin Wall, it was the end of an era. The years of a divided Germany, were at an end, and the fall of the Soviet Union, was not far behind. And it all happened because a man named Gunter Schabowski made a mistake. Schabowski was a spokesman for the Communist Party, and on November 9, 1989, he was handed a piece of paper announcing a major change. As a temporary measure, East Germans were going to get the right to visit the West, as long as they applied for permission, and were approved. They would announce the start of the program at a later date. The paper, though did not make all of that clear. Schabowski read what it said, and to the audience, it sounded an awful lot like anyone with a passport could cross the Berlin Wall, whenever they wanted. When one reporter asked when the new rule took effect, Schabowski scanned the paper, and not finding the answer, gave it his best guess, straight away. Thousands of people flooded the checkpoints, trying to cross over. The border guards, unsure what to do and unwilling to use force, ended up just letting them go through. The Berlin Wall was effectively gone, and the days of division between East and West Germany, had come to an end. In 1918, Henry Tandy was fighting for the British Army in France. There, he made the decision to spare one man's life, and because of it, more than 60 million people died. He was fighting in the capture of Marcoing, and the Germans were starting to give ground. Enemy soldiers were turning and fleeing, and one of them wandered into his line of fire. Tandy aimed his gun at the fleeing German, but this man was injured and running for his life. He could not bring himself to pull the trigger. He lowered his gun, the German nodded in thanks, and he let him get away. Tandy's spirit and good looks would later end up on a propaganda poster, and 20 years later, that poster would show up in the last place anyone would expect, Adolf Hitler's country home. When Neville Chamberlain visited Hitler, and saw the poster on his wall, he asked why in the world he had a British propaganda poster. Hitler, in response, pointed to the picture of Tandy and said, that's the man who nearly shot me. The story is so incredible that some people doubt it, but years later, the Green Howards Museum found proof. They had a letter from Hitler's assistant, written in 1937, thanking them for sending the poster. He had sought it out, he explained, because the Führer is naturally very interested in things connected with his own war experiences.